Hey, Scorpa Boo Boo, it's me, Alex, and I'm here to bring you guys another face-to-face -face reading. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. For those of you guys who that unbelievable reading didn't even resonate with you, but you still watched it, mwah, thank you so much. Before I start this reading, um, I do have a special message for all Scorpios, or maybe the Scorpios, I guess, that this will resonate with. But I just got this feeling because we're in Pisces season, Pisces is ruled by Neptune. Neptune creates like that cloud nine, blurred, rose colored glasses effect. So I feel like Scorpio, as we tend to get more into Pisces season, that effect is gonna come over you, kind of surround you. It feels auric, right? As in it will surround and encase and, and um, angels are saying, fill your lives with joy. Okay, but one thing I want you guys to keep to make sure you're aware of and keep in mind Don't do any heavy lifting, right? If you are under the influence of Neptune, right? You're feeling all warm and fuzzy and good Don't go buy a house. Don't go buy a car, right? Don't make no heavy lifting types of decisions, right? Where when you come out of this energy, you're like, what the fuck did I do? Okay, so just kind of be careful if you're entering into contracts, um, if you're signing your name on the dotted line, whatever that means to you, just kind of make sure you take them glasses off, read the fine print, and make sure you're protected. But I just have this feeling, especially with Scorpio specifically, I think Pisces is Scorpio's fifth house. Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. Scorp uh, Pisces is your fifth house. So for a lot of you guys, you are about to start feeling in love. Again, it could be a person, job, hobby, it doesn't matter. It just kind of feels like, especially for your chart specifically, Scorpio, um, if you have Scorpio sun, um, you're about to have that warm and fuzzy feeling in your heart. Okay, now, God Angels Universe, with that being said, and thank you so much for that message that came from angels specifically. Um, Thank you for that message. What uh, is this reading about or what can Scorpio look forward to? They're saying that warm and fuzzy feeling. Let me tell y'all something. The, I just felt the feeling and it moved all the way down to my solar plexus. So be careful, Scorpio, of who you have sex with because you may wind up falling in love with their asses. I'm just saying, I'm just putting it out there. I'm just letting you know, okay? And as always, it may, look, right? That's Pisces right there. And as always, like I was about to say, take the reason, readings as they resonate. They're not going to resonate with everybody. Scorpio, could you let your guard down? Could you even let my message in, please? Pretty please. Knight of Pentacles. You just hold the cards up because I don't want to. Okay. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Look, look, seven of seven of wands. Knight of Pentacles, meaning slow poking, is coming in. Some sort of opportunity is on its way to you, Scorpio. Judgment, you got to figure out whether you're going to let it in or you're going to keep it outside of you, Scorpio. Always remember, the universe doesn't know, okay, you universe, I'm shutting down to Ken. Like, fuck him. Universe doesn't know that the shutdown is specific to Ken. Universe just sees you, Scorpio, as shut down. So you need to make a decision on whether you're going to be open or you're going to be closed. Angels are giving me this. They're giving me the message of you being a brat. I don't feel like it, Alex. Here's why I know you don't feel like it emotionally. Because you sitting up under your goddamn tree, Scorpio, which is fine. Look, throw some suntan lotion on, grab a tan, you know, make the day a beautiful day. Right, because again, you're looking for something specific. You looking for whatever you're looking for with God's stamp, with God's seal of approval. Scorpio, just as a little hint, it's all God's stamp, right? I don't care what situation you go through. I don't care who you are, how you are. Any experience that you have in this universe is God stamped. <laughs> My angels just said, ha! <laughs> and I feel like, I feel like that was from a mastermind, Scorpios. Those of you who feel like you're tricking the system, it's like, no universe, you keep sending me bullshit. So I'm not coming from up under my tree unless it's worth it. And the universe is like, Scorpio, they're all worth it. Because guess what? Your ass needs to evolve. 
okay? So be careful, be careful of that Jedi logic that you create, Scorpio. Sagittarius, Jupiter, right? You got a gift coming in soon, Scorpio. That's your element. She got one foot in the water, one foot on land. That's you, Scorpio, um, being very versatile. You can go from the conscious and subconscious. You swim in between multiple worlds on any given day. I just heard, so let us let us take this one, Scorpio. We're um, sending you somebody who's complimentary is what I just heard. Now, again, yeah, for a lot of you, you're, you want a person. Like when the universe says, I'm sending someone to you complimentary, a lot of you guys want that to be a person. But it doesn't have to be for other Scorpios as well because some of y'all already have people or a person. So it could be money, it could be an opportunity, it could be job. Just, just again, take it as it resonates. Whatever you feel it is, whatever your instincts are telling you is, baby, it T-I-Z. Okay, and then six of swords on the bottom. I always pull up the pick up the whole deck because if I start plucking, y'all know I'm nosy. Now, what I was going to say for the six of swords specifically, a lot of you guys are moving away from old crusty habits, right? Especially being inside of your head. I feel like for a lot of you guys, truth be told, Scorpio, especially when it comes to love, y'all are tired of struggling, okay? And I need to hear from my Scorpios who are tired of struggling because I really do feel like here up under this tree, it's like, listen, God, I done been out on a battlefield. I done been battered. I've been bruised. I've been, I laid down. I passed out a couple of times. I went without food and water. So for you, Scorpio, you feel like you have made the necessary sacrifices. Again, your logic. So to an extent, it's like, you damn right, I deserve what God has for me, right? But also at the same time, what God has for you is down here as well. Again, as in, it's all God sent, okay? Be careful about you picking and choosing what you think and or feel is God sent, because you're not going to be able to do that. And if you do, Scorpio, you're not going to be successful at it. And the only thing, again, I mean by that is, Again, you don't get to just, you know, kind of see like those four cups and be like, okay, I'll take cup number two. That one seems like it's the best one for me. I mean, technically you could do it with free will, but it has to be in line with your evolu evolution, unfortunately. Okay. With the 10 of wands being under the six of swords. Yeah. You guys are tired of struggling. It's like Scorpio lay that load down, baby, lay it down. I mean, God has created a space on earth. For you to lay those 10, um, those 10 wands down. Okay. So I'm also hearing Scorpio too is however much you continue to struggle, whatever that means to you is up to you. And at the end of the day, I just, this, the word tired just came over and landed right here. Okay. So you guys not only get to see my face, but you also kind of get to see you know, I guess in a human sense, how messages are coming through. So I'm hearing in my left ear, my left ear now feels kind of muffled, meaning some of you guys may not want to hear it because you're so tired, right? You're tired of reader, readers telling you, oh, this person's coming, this is coming, this is coming, okay? Maybe, just maybe a part of your problem, right, in why certain predictions don't come through is this because you've heard it all before it's like ah, right that's the sense of that muffling over my ear it's ah. so for those scorpios specifically who are tired of people telling them stuff and stuff not manifesting you're kind of the problem love you <laughs> right you're a part of the problem and and the muffling is you not believing okay so deep special message for those of you who are tired y'all are tired it's like alex can i supersize that well um, i'm also hearing too for those of you who metaphorically consider yourselves this four cups up under the tree right um as in you're not participating emotionally, 
It's almost like you can't get the package if you don't place the order, right? How are you going to get love if you ain't open to it or if you ain't ready for it or if you sitting up under that goddamn tree, Scorpio? I'm just saying, moving on, moving on. I'm, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> All right. It's hot over here. Mm. Page of Swords. Ooh, angels are telling on you because angels are saying on the low, low, they looking anyway. <laughs> I can't. Angels just called y'all out. Whoever is sitting up under this tree, angels just called y'all out. This is online dating, right? Are any of my Scorpios who are up, un up under their trees bold enough to be like, yeah, I'm on a dating site. I don't really find anything. And it's almost like, well, that ain't committing to being up under your tree. If you're cheating, if you're not, if you, you portray that you're not looking, but you're looking. Okay. Very important message about that. From an energy standpoint, you can't come and go simultaneously, energetically, right? You can't, you can't come and go simultaneously because the physical action is stopping right? You can't come and go simultaneously. You can't, right? If I'm going, I'm coming. I'm going, I'm coming. You can't do them at the same time. Tired, not believing, sick of uh, readers telling you stuff is going to happen. You're doing this to the universe or you're stagnant. So you ever wonder why nothing is moving in your life? Could be because you're not moving. I'm just love you <laughs> i'm just saying look what's on the bottom eight of wands boy if that don't say movement i don't know what does okay so for those of you again who are struggling who are tired tired of these damn videos and and yeah those of you guys too leave uh, yeah alex i'm fucking tired i'm tired of i love you girl but i'm tired of hearing about this is gonna happen and that and ain't nothing happening <laughs> this reading is for you <laughs> I can't, I can't. Eight of Pentacles working. You got to put in the work. You have to. Uh, Knight of Pentacles and Eight of Pentacles. Um, you have to put in the work. Um, angels are saying to me, for those of you who need money, need more money, need a job, need some sort of opportunity, that's coming your way as well. If it is coming slow, again, check your energy. If you're moving slow, if you're up under that tree, wanting, you know, next day or same day delivery, universe is like, okay, did you specify that in your order? Like, did you place the order? Did you check the box as in, did you do your part? Ooh, deep breathing. Let me keep going. Uh, for those Scorpios, I love when people are like, yeah, I cursed the whole video. I cursed the whole reading. I feel like some of y'all is just throwing shit at your phone like, she get on my damn nerves. Because she right. There's that Neptune energy, Seven of Cups. I'm glad it came out in your reading. That's Seven of Cups. Oh, ooh, with the Judgment card. Ooh, angels are saying you guys got to get out of your heads and get out of your fantasy and get into the world sorry sorry tree tree sitters that's what you're doing under that tree anyway you're fantasizing about the day that god sends you that perfect whatever and you're ignoring the perfect whatevers that are close to your feet like oh you look if he just pick stuck his toe out or stuck his leg out he would knock over or be able to come in contact with one of those cups so there's a message here scorpio that's basically saying it's right up under your nose it's right up under your nose and you don't even know it because you're tired. Eh. Right. Mm, no, I'm just saying. Who, I, who am I? I'm just, I'm just an earth angel. That's all. I'm just a regular earth angel person, reader, you know, light worker. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Oh, man. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, look. Okay, the Four of Pentacles under the Temperance. Yeah, you're tired of waiting. Not only are you tired of waiting, you're tired of it take it. Well, I was going to say you're tired of it taking so long and Scorpios are not the best endurers, right? You guys don't endure as well as you could. Don't talk to me about that full fucking letter word patience. And I know it's not four words, um, four letters. I mean, um, I'm just getting that it's taking too long. 
It's like I've been waiting. I've been waiting four years, Alex. Eh, get rid of that and wait. Right? Now, now, when I say wait, I don't mean go sit up under your tree and just wait for God. I mean, go live your life. Right? That's the, let me clarify that real quick. Me as a reader, I, I, I despise the word wait. Okay? Because wait to humans means stop energetically it just means find something else to do until what you're waiting on is ready for you through divine timing okay and divine order so it never means stop i'm getting a very strong message coming through here for very specific scorpios for those of you guys again who are tired and it's like nothing ever happens Angels just said to me, check your energetic temperature. What are you not doing? How have you stopped in your life? Okay. How have you stopped in career? How have you stopped in love? How have you stopped in family? How have you stopped socially? How have you stopped spiritually? How have you stopped energetically? Okay. I really want you guys to meditate on that because at the end of the day and at the beginning of the next one, all of your answers as far as tired, waiting, it's not going to happen. Those answers as far as why it has not will be in that meditative session. And look, four of swords. How many fours do we have here? One, two, three. Three so far. The fours in the tarot re represent stability, but the fours of in the tarot, depending on the suit, also represents stagnancy. Four of Wands represents making it to a certain point and feeling accomplished. Four of Cups says, you know what? I'm not interested. I'm disengaged. So I am going to stop. I am going to stagnate myself emotionally. Four of Swords, stagnating yourself mentally. Four of Pentacles means I'm blocking any sort of opportunity or new experiences. Um, angels are also saying to me too, with the four of pentacles, it's almost like you feel like you have enough or you have, how can I say this? It feels like you think you could stop or block or, you know, it feels comfortable for, uh, for you. It almost even feels like protection four of pentacles for Scorpio specifically. Okay. So let me keep going. I ain't even put all my cards out and it's seven, eight going on 18 minutes into this reading. Come on, Cletus. All right. Mm -hmm. But this is deep. Ten of Wands again. Sorry. Let me let you see the Ten of Wands again. You're carrying baggage. Look, the Ten of Wands with the Four of Cups. You're carrying emotional baggage. Ooh. Ooh. I love this message. Angels just said, you think you're sitting under the tree. They just said, it's not you sitting under the tree. It's your baggage sitting under the tree. Ooh, ooh. Psychologically, you're telling yourself, I don't want to be bothered. Right? Subconsciously, it's like, I'm tired. This weight is heavy. This load is heavy. So let me go rest. But baby, you're not resting. You're almost like preserving your baggage. Oh, deep message. Deep, deep message. High Priestess, that just says to me, there is meditation needed for that message. Mm, Scorpio, we, we gonna have you meditate. Some of y'all gonna need a pen and a paper. Next time you watch this reading, you gonna need a pen and a paper. Because basically it's almost like the angels, God and universe are giving you kind of like they're giving you the cheat sheet of how to get out of your own way or to how or how to get how to re-engage in other words how to re-engage again back into love back into life back into your career whatever that is for you justice i just heard thine will be done so that basically is saying scorpio either you're gonna do it or <laughs> we're gonna do it for you um justice is also two of wands yeah look crossroads justice also means um it said thine will be done and then it also said 
karma. Mm, 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 mm. Whew. I just heard, are some of you guys really sitting under that tree because you are trying to duck and dodge karma? Scorpio, listen, I give you guys full, full blown permission since I am on camera. <laughs> I give you full blown mission, uh, permission to throw things at your phones or tablets or laptops because I feel like the, the universe right now is kind of quote unquote gutting you. But again, not gutting you, but cleansing and clearing you. I hope you perceive and receive this message as a cleansing of you up under that tree and whatever's sitting with you up under that tree that is not visible. Because it's like, listen, <laughs> this is the frame. We don't know what's back over here, right? He could, look, he could have the mule. She could be sitting by over here outside of the frame. Okay, Scorpio, it's time. I just heard it's time. And here's the thing. Uh, angels are saying assurance, right? You have our assurance that whatever it is that we're working on to send you, number one, you will have. But whatever flavor you receive it in, tired, ain't nothing good comes to me. Whatever flavor you receive it in is up to you, okay? That says to me, Scorpio, that you're partnering with God angels in the universe, right? God can say, okay, Alex, I will send you a million dollars, okay? And I'm just explaining how I'm just explaining the message that I just gave. God can say to you, okay, Alex, I'm gonna give you a million dollars, but depending on your free will, it'll be up to you whether you get it in one lump sum, whether you get it over a lifetime, whether you get it over several lifetimes, right? Because as an example, depending on who I am and my energy, I can get one lump sum, baby. If that, if my, if, if my belief system, if I've cleared away my baggage, if I've done the work, I can get it in one lump sum, baby, twice. Okay. But if I'm, if I'm here, God may say, okay, the million dollars, I'm gonna split that out over 10 lifetimes, right? Or I'm gonna split it out every other lifetime, okay? And it's not God saying, okay, I'm gonna do it as I just said, I'm gonna, no. That's you based on your free will, your evolution, your openness. That's you basically determining, are you gonna get this over 10 lifetimes? Because at the end of the day, if I had handed you a bag of money, Scorpio, what, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Where you gonna put it? How you gonna grab it? You're invested. Ooh, ooh, we. <laughs> Sorry, another one of those deep messages. Angels are saying, mm, Scorpio, listen, remember something. I love you. I do. I do. Angels are saying you're invested in your struggle. Or how invested are you in your struggle? Ah tired. I don't want to hear it. Are you self-sabotaging yourself? Because if you finally do get it from the universe, now you got to feel all good and you got to look forward to stuff and all oh, shit. I may get my hopes up high and I don't like getting my hopes up because that's when I get disappointed. Woo -hoo, Scorpio. Oh, listen again, meditate on how invested you are in your struggle. Card up under that justice. I didn't pick up all the cards. There was one card still on the table. Ten of pentacles. Okay. That again, giving you a million dollars, giving you a million dollars. How you going to grab it, Scorpio? How you going to grab it? You have to clear this away to be able to receive this. And this is long money, by the way. Ten of pentacles is money that you leave behind for your kids kids and your kids is kids is kids kids right it's it's legacy mm. oh no i come on now y'all gonna get me stung i just oh <laughs> scorpio i'm sorry these are tough messages but i feel like they're hitting the core of many of you angels just said to me i can't say that to scorpio god i i don't want to get stung Scorpio, I say this with all the love and respect that I have for you, but I also just heard when you leave this earth, what are you leaving behind? Your stingers? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Justice. You got justice here twice now. 
balance it out, get your stuff together. But I feel like for a lot of you, maybe 60% of my audience, you're already on your way. You understand the fuck shit that you're doing to yourself. You do. And you're on your way. Angels just also said to me too, those Scorpios need an answer. They, in other words, um, they're saying to me to speak to those Scorpios who are on their way. Now, I got a lot of cards on my table. Page of Swords is Gemini. Knight of Pentacles is Virgo. Temperance is Sagittarius, Jupiter. Judgment is Aries and Scorpio. That's Martian energy. Mm, not a whole lot of majors. You got Justice here with Libra. Six of Swords. You got Libra here again. And that's it. Wow. Not a lot of majors. So that makes sense. That's in line. Because that says to me, that says to me that this is all your free will, Scorpio, by the way. You, you own, it's almost like you own the flavor of the outcome. Okay, I'm at 26 minutes. So for those of you who are, have moved along, right, who understood how you're holding yourself back and um, you have gotten rid of your 10 of wands, you want to know what's, co what's coming up, what's coming next. Angels are saying success and prosperity. What's crazy is that they put the word success and prosperity together and it was sexarity. <laughs> I can't. I think that means something else. Scorpio. Successarity or Ooh, that means something else to Scorpio. Come on now. This ain't that kind of reading. For those of you who have moved away, what do you have to look forward to? No, angels, let's shuffle again. Shuffle again, Alex. Come on. Okay, all right. Um, three of Swords. Justice. Okay, so you've got you've done the work. You've cleansed. Seven of Wands. You're walking because you're walking into the unknown. You don't. You're nervous. Your your guards are up. You're like, I hope you know nothing don't jump out of a tree. I hope nothing jumps out of the tree I just got from up under. Right. So. A lot of you guys are nervous, uh, again, because you're walking into the unknown. Stability. Keep walking. <laughs> I love it. Keep walking because your stability is coming, whether it's family, relationships, relating, connecting with people. And, and um, angels are saying building a strong, jovial foundation. Okay. Knight of Wands, be careful about losing patience. Angels are also saying too, be careful about your addictive ways. And this just basically means <laughs> they're showing me the picture of like a baby who tries something that they like. Y'all ever see that bacon, that bacon video of the little boy who tried it? He's like, that, that. <laughs> he like fell out. He loved the bacon so much. Be careful about getting that first taste of the nectar and then wanting things to take off and then your intense impulsive side kind of quote unquote showing up but angels are also saying to me too whatever this four of wands is for you that's coming in hot so just be to be careful and be sure to pace yourself there you go as in as in as these things start coming to you and they start coming start coming to you quicker control your intensity i just said i just spoke another language to to scorpio because scorpio's like my intensity is like breathing alex but also at the same time, yeah, just as addicts kick the habit, Scorpio, you may have to go into rehab for your intensity because to an extent, it tends to suck the life out and dry out again, whatever it is. Scorpio, you're no stranger to ODing, overdoing it, overdosing with again, that beautiful taste of that nectar. Yeah, there you are. Keep going added syllables oh king of wands this to me is um your momentum and angels are saying your energy and your momentum again i'm speaking to those of you who are on your way out on your way um from whatever you're leaving behind so the king of wands is that's some sex baby angels are saying this is limb breaking sex good lord whoo Angels are saying, oh, well, this, be careful of this king of wands because angels just said to me, that's kind of, 
not necessarily meant to trip you up, but be careful about the distraction. Ooh, but that's also you tending to get very aggressive and wanting things to move quickly and losing your patience. Tower, you have to come outside of who you normally are. So walking into the unknown is not recreating the comfort zone you just left. It is shattering what you just left and like the fool, taking things as they come one by one, right? One by one versus assuming and using your spidey senses. Oh, this is that fuck shit. I'm going to go ahead and avoid this. No, some things on your path, Scorpio, are meant for you to explore. Sorry, I put the, put the cards down. And the next one was the Empress. Uh, that's your energy, Scorpio. That's Venus, right? Uh, no, angels just corrected me and saying, that's what Scorpio strives for, right? That whole beautiful mythical Mars and Venus you know, lovers as in Mars, that warrior, that aggressive, you know, Scorpio, excuse me, Mars, Scorpio, Venus being Taurus and Libra, that, that quiet strength, right? That beautiful power, that nurturing energy, endurance, right? That beautiful endurance, that beautiful longevity. That's what you strive for, Scorpio. That's the yin to your yang or the yang to your yin. That's what you strive for. But angels are saying for you, Scorpio, you got to get there, right? And you ain't going to get there up under your tree, right? Venus ain't coming to you talking about, oh, hey, little baby Scorpio. How you doing? My name is the Empress Sisses. I came to be your life partner. Scorpio, you got to do your part, okay? It is what it is. All right. Angels are uh, wanting me to pull that back out again and saying, this, what, this is what awaits. Um, angels are saying your heart's desires, whatever that mean, money, car, house, love, dogs, it doesn't matter. Um, it's almost like your heart's desire is waiting for you. You just have to clear away the debris that's blocking your heart, right? Angels are also saying, reminding you again to partner with God, partner with the creator. <laughs> First of all, give me like, like make me best friends with God. Okay, we would be partners in crime, okay, <laughs> because I want his gifts, I want his blessings, I want the privilege of just being with him, knowing him, loving him, right? So it's almost like I'm gonna do my part. If there was baggage in between you and God, wouldn't you remove that baggage, right? And then say to God, All right, I cleared all that up. So, what are we doing today, big guy? Right. You know what? How are we helping the world? How are we helping myself? How am I helping you today, God? All right. Angel answers. Angel said, just pull one. Timeline junkies in the near future. What's near? Two months, two weeks. They're saying two weeks. <clears throat> Moonology for Scopa. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. Lord, you're good enough. You deserve this. Ooh. Ooh. Angels are another tough message, Scorpio. I'm sorry. But they're saying, yeah, why are you really sitting under that tree? Do you not think you're good enough? And I know the answer is no for some of you, maybe the majority of you, maybe for about 40% of you. It's like, no, I know I'm good enough. That's why I'm up under this tree is because I am that good and I'm tired of getting my ass kicked. That's what I hear from you, Scorpio. And that's valid. A hundred million quadrillion percent. Okay. But just because you get your ass kicked. Yeah, baby. You get to go sit up under that tree, get some lemonade, have some cookies. Right. But that don't mean camp out. That don't mean build the house up under the tree. That just means take a minute, gather yourself, get some downloads for God from God, angels in the universe. And you get your ass back up and get back in that fight because angels are saying the reward of rest is good, but there are more rewards out there. Life is not all just about a fight, Scorpio. There are blessings and rewards and awards out there for you too. And what I'm also hearing is that baby, you got to fight for those just like you fighting for your life or you fighting to get that car, you fighting to get that job, you fighting to get that, you know, pay off your debt. You got to fight for the rewards and awards too. Because baby, again, Amazon don't deliver under your tree. Mm -mm. First of all, ain't no zip code or postal code up under your tree. So they can't find you. Ooh, wee. 
<laughs> Take time to breathe out. I'm telling you, uh, first of all, I am going to release this on Sunday. And I feel like this is a whole entire Scorpio church sermon. Synagogue, mosque, meditating out in, the, in, the, in nature. Scorpio, you take this video with you and you go meditate. You go do something. Okay. Because angels just said, this is Scorpio's tower moment, but not all tower moments are traumatic, especially not for you, Scorpio, because y'all could take tower moments in your sleep and then get up and have a great fucking day. Okay. Tower moments just means we're getting something is changing just like that. It's that aha moment. The old way of doing things has been shattered. Right. And then there's the new way that comes upon the city. You know what I mean? So take it as it resonates, Scorpio. <laughs> I, tell you, I can't, I can't, I can't. Oh, I want to drop my cards. Believe in the impossible. What do you need to release? Scorpio, you've got this. I know you do. First of all, Scorpio, you can't not have this. Right. I think that's what Scorpio means in some sort of, you know, angelic language. Scorpio, godder of this. <laughs> I can't. I got to I got to go eat. I got to go do something because godder, godder of this. I like it. <laughs> I can't. Now, I'm also being told to tell you if you believe. Right. Because the other card said believe in the impossible. Okay. You are the possible. Do you believe in yourself? Hell yeah, Alex, twice. Okay. Okay. Now let's believe in the impossible of God, angels in the universe. Right? So step one, believe in you. Step two, believe in the universe. Step three, manifestations, baby. Okay. Hey, I'm out of here. I kind of like this. It's like I'm having a conversation with myself. Hey, Alex, Bill, how you doing? I'm okay. How you doing? You all right? You good? You having a good day? Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to take my crazy ass and I'm going to go enjoy my day. If this reading, as always, does resonate with you, Scorpio, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Tell me your story because I want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. I still read your comments. I try to make sure I go out there and love and as much as I can. And, you know, I respond back to some of y'all because some of y'all be having me cracking the fuck up. But, um, yeah, like, subscribe, comment, share, tell a friend, you know, take it to church with you. It could be Bedside Baptist. I'm a member of that church, right? Church is in my heart and sometimes in my bed, um, as in I stay in it as much as possible. Um, yeah. So if it resonates, just, you know, you may have to listen to it over and over, but I love you, Scorpio. I hope those messages weren't too hard, too deep, too, you know, um, tough for you, but you're built for it. So I love you. Bye.